log graphs are the inverse of exponential graphs. So if f x equals log a x, then f dash x equals a to the x. Okay. Remember this f dash from a couple of exercises ago? That's where you sort of rotate it over the y equals x line. All right. So that's what we're doing here. So if we're drawing a to the x, what does it look like? What's an exponential, exponential graph look like? Uh, exponential graph looks like that. Okay. So what is my log graph going to look like? By opposite of that, you mean like that. Okay, so that's our base way this works. All right, that's a very dodgy graph, but that is the base way it works. All right, so there are some things you need to know to work this stuff out. All right, log a of a to the x. All right. It's just equal to x. All right. Now I can tell you why. So let's go through why. A to the x. Remember, according to our log laws, you bring that x log a of a. Okay. So log a of a is one. So you can get rid of that. So that's why it equals x. All right. You've also got a log a x also equals x because this and this cancel each other out to that. All right? These are inverse functions. So like you divide to undo a multiplication, to undo a log, you put it to the power. So if you're trying to find log a of x, you're trying to find x, you can just put the whole lot to the power of, of the base. All right? So simplifying expressions. If we have a look at question one, it says log two of two to the x. What is it? Bring your x out the front. Okay, always first step. If you've got powers in your log, take them out the front. So first step, log two, two. What's log two of two? One. So the answer is x. All right. So I'll leave the rest of them for you. Question 2 asks you to sketch graphs. So let's do 2a, log 2x. We've got to sketch that, fx log 2x. How are we going to do that? Anyone have any suggestions? Apart from on your calculator. How to draw it? Yeah. Okay, so what's the log of any log of any yeah, zero? Don't you transform it? What do you mean transform it? So from there you can make it f of x equals two to the power of x. Right. So the first step, guys, is to go back here, right? Because we can graph these guys here, we can graph our exponentials. So you convert it to a Yep. So it's actually so it's a to the x. So the graph we're actually going to do. Right, if we do fx equals 2 to the x, so it's just this to the this. Can't you can't see. Sorry, guys. So it's just 2 to the x. All right. So if we graph 2 to the x, 2 to the 0 is 1. So we're going to go through 1. Shifted the but camera. The from yep, that's all right. We're going to sketch the actual graph of that in orange first. Okay. okay. And it's exponential, so it sort of starts at 0 and goes up. Doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. So you've got your two points. So when x equals one, y equals two. So if we have one, that's two. Okay. So you've got two points there. That's how you draw a graph. Now we need to then reflect that over the y equals x line, which sits about there-ish. Two, one. 
Yep, so that's the other way of doing it. It's exactly the same process. Okay, we actually have to go through, gee, I wish that chord would get out of my way. We actually have to go through one on the x-axis, so we have to go through here. Okay, and if this is one, two, then when I invert that, it's going to be two, one. So we're going to come over here, and we're going to go through there. Right, so it's going to do that. So that is my log graph, the blue one. The easiest way to graph them, convert them to a power function, an exponential, graph your exponential, then just flip it. All right. So you either flip it using your eyes across the green dotted line, or you flip it using the points as Casey just suggested where you say, OK, we went through 0, 1, now we go through 1, 0. We went through 1, 2, now we go through 2, 1. Okay, so you swap your x and your y's.